Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesigntechtips.com. Well, we've got a little WooCommerce site that we built recently. And if you go to the shop page, it's pretty generic. When you set up a WooCommerce and got products, it builds a shop page for you. And this is what it looks like. And that's pretty generic looking. We've got that sidebar to the right. We've got the page title and some breadcrumbs up there. It's okay, it's functional, it does the job. If you click on these, it'll take you to that particular product, which is fine. But we wanna customize ours today and make it slightly more interesting, more in style with the rest of the site. So I've put one together here quickly, and I've done a very simple version of it, but you can really go to town and make your shop page look a lot more interesting really easily. So let's get started. First thing I want to do, let's get rid of this page here. First thing I want to do is add a new page. Call it whatever you want. Obviously use the Divi Builder. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to put a countdown timer in for telling about a sale and then I'm going to put the sale products in and then a little section perhaps with a gallery in it. So let's use a single column for our first one. Inside I'm going to put a simple countdown timer. There it is. And put in whatever it is you want to say. And for how long you want to do it. I'm going to make mine two days or something like that. March here. Let's see where we are. February 24th. Let's make it February 27. And you can set the hours and minutes there if you want to end at a specific time. Link wise, I'm not going to link it because I'm going to have the sale products right underneath. You could link it to that row if you wanted to. Background, I'm going to make it the same color as perhaps one of my buttons up here or my logo. Got a free Google Chrome color picker up here 10 CACA. If I copy that and let's change this color there we have it fantastic I'm gonna pretty much leave it right now I think I'll capitalize that text I'm just hitting the little blue pencil icon beside it it takes me straight to it I'm gonna make it uppercase and I might want to put a gap between the W and the O there and let's make it a bit bigger let's make it maybe 30 pixels something like that there we go and bold right let's just correct that there we go now underneath i want to put my sale products so i'm going to add another module i'm going to use one of the woo modules that they've got down here woo modules at the bottom this comes as standard with divi and it'll only appear if you've got woocommerce installed so if you don't see it you've probably not got woocommerce installed and i want to go for woo products right here and we can choose what we want to view i'm going to say a product category i'm going to say shows my categories down below let's say on sale I'm going to display six and I'm going to put it into two columns of three and just below the categories we've got a column layout here I'm going to make mine three so we should just be throw showing six products there we go fantastic just what I want I want to change that sale badge perhaps make it our purple color or something like that apart from that that's in pretty good shape so I'm going to go over design you've got your overlay if you want to change the overlay color image you can make it rounded or give it box shadow if you want to let's throw a bit of box shadow on there for a bit of fun okay and let's go down and there's our sales badge I'm not gonna edit anything else on this now let's perhaps get this purple color this time sales badge color and I'll pop that in there great okay there's my little sales item underneath this I think I'll have a little slideshow 
just showing various accessories and let them know there's an accessory sale on so I'm actually going to create a new section now when we put Woo products in occasionally if you notice down the bottom here it's jumping back down to the bottom if you have trouble getting to your buttons hit the little purple button we can go to back end or wireframe mode little icon on the left there I'm going to add a new section this way I'm going to make it a regular section I'm going to have two columns a gallery or a slider in one and an explainer in the other I guess okay and for this I'm just going to use a regular DV gallery module not a woo module you've got woo product galleries there but I just want the images rotating so let's grab our accessories here let's go from here to here I'm going to exclude that one and all I did there for anybody that doesn't know is I hit the first one held my shift key down and hit the last one it selects all in between I'm going to put them in there let's go back to desktop mode so we can see what's going on now design wise I don't want a grid I want an actual slider and I want it to slide automatically so still on the design if we go down to the bottom we've got animation automatic animation there it is default is seven seconds or seven thousand milliseconds I'm gonna make my four seconds or four thousand milliseconds And there it is right there we've got a little rotating gallery and just to the right of it I'm gonna put in a little blurb module with an explainer we're gonna say all accessories on sale 20% off great and we'll say sale ending soon image and icon I'm going to pop in a little image of one of the accessories here Let's use that one great and the only thing I want to do is I want to pop that in the middle and perhaps make it a bit bigger so again I'm going to go design I'm going to go to text which will do all of it I'm going to pop it in the middle both the title and the content down there I'm going to leave it as dark but my actual title if I click on the little blue icon for it there I'm going to make that a bit bigger I think perhaps 30 pixels I think that's what we used above that's going to work for me now just to add a little bit of more interest here I'm going to add a bit of a background to our section here just to split it up to the rest and like I say I'm keeping this pretty simple today you can really go to town and make some stunning shop pages if you want to let's perhaps pop that one in great so we've got a little section there now underneath I want the rest of my products I think so again I'm gonna add a new section if you have trouble getting to it again pop to the back end let's just save our changes here we'll add a new section I'm gonna make it a regular section let's pop back to desktop mode inside my section here I'm going to put a single column and inside I'm going to go back down to my woo modules and we'll finish off now I'm going to simply say woo products and it'll select them all unless you go for a category or anything like that so I've got all my products down below here four columns is fine for me on this particular one those sales badges I think I'll use that same color for so let's grab that color again up here apart from that we'll leave it pretty much how it is so let's go over to our design you've got an overlay you can change the overlay color I'm gonna leave all that how it is you can style everything star rating title sale price price everything down here I'm gonna leave mine pretty much as it is for expediency today if we go down here's our sales badge text let's change that color well, there we go and if we roll down a little bit more I'm just going to simply add a little bit of box shadow and we'll call this shop page done but of course we've got to set it as the shop page for WooCommerce let's save our changes here and I'll show you how to do that 
Great, so there's our little sales page. Let's publish it and I'll show you how to set it as the Woo default page. And exit the Visual Builder. So here's our little shop page and I think it looks a lot better than the generic WooCommerce shop page and we've really spent no time on this. You can really go to town and make it your own. So we need to set this as the Woo default shop page. So we need to make sure this page is published and we can go down to our dashboard, down to WooCommerce, down to settings. That'll take you here. If we go to products, it'll take you to this page. Here's the shop page we called ours shop new so that's now the page it'll default to when anybody wants to go back to the shop I want to make sure we go down the bottom and save all the changes and of course you may want to add it to your menu to do that go to your appearance menus here is the menu we're using most recent is selected up here I'm going to say shop new add to menu it'll pop it down the bottom there it is and we'll put it where we want it let's perhaps put it top it on sale fashion clearance we'll put it as the first one in our menu hit the little save menu button down to the bottom right there now let's go back to our store and we'll refresh and here we have it shop new I should have changed that I'll show you how to do that shop new but if I click on that it'll take us to our shop page I just want that to say shop really or store so in the menu where we just put it up there hit the little drop down and get rid of the new you can call it whatever you want there once the menu has been saved and we refresh the page that should change and there we go we've got shop clearance on sale fashion accessories my account checkout and like I say that is a lot more interesting than the regular shop page like I say I've done a very quick example for today if you want to learn how we built this whole site have a look at our Divi e-commerce site build playlist so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.